video. Again, from my school here in Hong Kong. While the lockdown is going on, lots of people are uploading lots of stuff on YouTube and on Facebook. And sometimes I see something that, and that bothers me a little bit. And I want to give you some pointers that I learned from my seafood here in Hong Kong and that I saw uh, other seafoods do in mainland China that to make uh, things more effortless, right? Because I see people using too much brute force with the, with the long pole and yeah, the pole is quite heavy and of course very muscular guys and they can do it but the idea is that also people who are not that muscular and have uh, less body strength right, are able to play with the long pole right? so yeah they're grabbing the pole like that and, and using upper body strength you know no matter they do this they do you see you see them working and using all this bicep, shoulder, chest. The thing is, it's all about uh, some small pointers, right? It's about the small details. Many times uh, in life, right, it, it is about the small details, and especially in, in martial arts, the small details can make all the difference, right? So, if we, if we uh, hold the pole, let's say we take how you, they call it in the learning system, the meridian half hanging sands, right? And then hold the pole up around this level and starting to use proof arm strength. Then what, what's the use, right? The stance here is there to create a level. So that's the first thing. So yeah, place my pole on my leg and then I'm forming like a triangle. If you see from my rear hand to my kneecap from, and then my front hand to my kneecap, there is a triangle, you see that? And the pole is balanced on that. That is the first thing. So when I need to move the pole, it is costing much less strength. See, I just need to push down with the front hand, pull up with the rear hand, or push down with the rear hand, pull up with the front hand. Right? It's really a level here. That's different than when I have to hold it here in mid-air and use my upper body strength, right? Then another uh, pointer, you see? They, they're gripping the pole like very tense like that. Now if you do pole sparring or uh, the, the, the cheese out of the pole, right? The, the cheap one, where the, you clean with the pole and use it to develop sensitivity. It can happen, right, that the other one's pole slides up and then hits your thumb. Now, when you lose your thumb, you basically lose the whole grip. You cannot hold it like that. It's impossible. So, you have to put your thumb on top like that. So, when he slides, he hits maybe your finger. But even if you lose this finger, you can still manage the ball because it's this part that has the most control. Yeah? Another thing they, that I hear from my students right, is the thumb is there to add a little bit of sensitivity. So it's direction and sensitivity. You have a little bit more feeling with the thumb. Now, and, uh, an interesting anecdote from the past one. I don't know if it's true, I never verified it. But it's a nice story, right? The same the old masters, they made a photo holding the pole like that, that you would know they would not have a, really the in-depth knowledge. So they would have the fun like that. Yeah. It's just an interesting anecdote. Like I said, I don't know if it's true. I hope it's true because it's, it's funny, it's nice. Yeah, so that is the thing, you know, I lose the triangle and the fun and then you can move smoothly. Let's say I do the Hyun, yeah, or they say the Qin Si, Qin si in, the, in the original Lung Kwan terminology, right? So, and I move and I go, right? Here, or I move here, right? It can be smooth. It can be smooth, you can move very light, very smooth. And from there do your attacks, yeah? Because the, the leg is useful as a lever, you see? It is so, effortless you know you can just float almost over the floor yeah so 
my two pointers for today, just some small details. Hope you enjoy. See you next time.